Welcome to Haken, an Animal Crossing podcast. This episode is brought to you by my newest Patreon patron, Amber Reeves. I'm your host, Chewy Plays Nintendo, joined by my co-host, Sergio. Today, we'll go over the recent updates to Pocket Camp, specifically Hopkins, Nintendo Systems Fortune Cookies, the lookalike items, and Brewster's Coop, and a few other tidbits, as well as our early E3 2018 predictions. So, hi Sergio, how are you doing? Hi Chewy, hello everybody. <laughs> so, we've got uh, there have been a lot of updates lately to Pocket Camp, right? and I think the thing that bugs me most with them is that they're not giving us like a nintendo direct to go over the updates where they're like oh yeah and animal crossing switch but you know what that'll be Um, the the ultimate update (laughs) yes and i say this specifically because of the hopkins fortune cookies that we just got Mm. i can't believe this is such a tease yeah right (laughs) so the hopkins cookies we can now get nintendo items but they're not like the mario event items it's specifically like the consoles and the game kind of store items right. you know so they they said they gave us a switch a nintendo switch inside of pocket camp <laughs> and then there's there's a fortune cookie reward of the neon switch so they gave us the gray one because you know that's the boring one which <laughs> i bought and have regretted i kind of <laughs> wish i got the neon one now but <laughs> there's a neon switch available through the cookies along with like the wii u the 3ds the different you know right items that we've already known um have you gotten any of these cookies yet I got two, and I got two virtual boys. <laughs> Lucky me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <sighs> you got, like, not only did you get the same thing twice. Right. You got, like, the worst Nintendo <laughs> system ever. <laughs> right. Um, I I actually do really like the look of the virtual boy. Mm-hmm. I think it looks cool, but I, I I don't think you need two of them. Right. I mean, you could you could always use two, but it would be nice to get like a different thing. Right. <laughs> if you're gonna get cookies, um, I haven't bought any yet. I don't know. I think so. I have six leaf tickets right now. Oh. Just putting that out there. Oh, I've wow. spent everything. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> um, essentially, I. Last week, I talked about the fortune cookies being introduced, and I used all of my leaf tickets to get them, right? right. Mm-hmm. Until I couldn't buy any more <laughs> fortune cookies. They got me. <laughs> um, this week, I did get back up to 150, but I spent all 150 on the limited time items that we're going to go over ah, in the future, right. um, later this episode. But... For now, let's stay focused. I, I'm broke. I don't have any leaf tickets. And I am thinking of getting like one of the big packs. Mm-hmm. Um, probably the $21 pack. Right. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm going to spend like 21 bucks, and I'm just going to see it disappear. Right. It is 600 leaf tickets, but as we know, they're going to go fast. <laughs> Yeah, and so my worry about it is I already know what I would spend them on, <laughs> and, like, right away. Right. And I'm like, it it makes it feel, like, not worth getting right. them. Right. So I know I'm going to spend on four fortune cookies because I need four more to get all of my stamps. Okay, gotcha. Get Get 10 stamps, get a free drink. <laughs> My, uh, th- that thing <laughs> so i'm at six stamps right now i would get four fortune cookies but that's 200 leaf tickets right there right and then so you get 600 total right mm-hmm. th- i'm left with 400 and i know the other three i know 350 of those are going to be used uh-huh. on the brewster item <laughs> i thought so and so there goes 21 bucks <laughs> right away. Right. I guess I'd have, I, I would have enough for another fortune cookie, but then I'd have six leaf tickets again. <laughs> it's bad. It's, it's, 
it's too expensive. Right. But then you would have 21 less dollars. <laughs> yeah. 21 less dollars. Like, how many items is that now? Five, six items. Right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> when I say it like that, it doesn't seem worth it. No. <laughs> this is why I'm on the fence. <laughs> uh, it, it's just so much. Um, how long... Do you know how long these uh, items from Hopkins are going to be available? Because I do know it's like a shorter time, right? Right. It is going to end on the night of May 9th. So okay. we have, you know, a little over a week. Man, it, it, it seems unfair. Like, I feel like they're doing this the wrong way simply because, like, we have limited time fortune cookies, right? Right. And then in the middle of those limited time fortune cookies, they're giving us another limited time fortune cookie that's gone even faster. Right. And, you know, arguably it's the best one because it's the most unique. Yeah. It's got a bunch of cool items. You know what would make me want to get it for sure? Mm -hmm. If you know the Welcome Amiibo update in New Leaf. Right. When they added the Nintendo 3DS, and the Wii U to oh. the game. Mm-hmm. But when you clicked on them, you could play the little mini games, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. The, I'd be more interested if there were, like, a little mini game that you could play. It doesn't have to be the Desert Island Escape or the puzzle thing, because those take a little long, you know? Right. If, if they just came up with another little mini game that you could play on those things, I'd be like, okay, I have to get that. <laughs> right. Even if it's not something that rewards you with like friend powder or something, just like a little like arcade game that has, that keeps track of your high score, something like that. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, but also more and more, I just want to be rewarded with leaf tickets because <laughs> uh, they're, they're so expensive. Yeah. I mean, if they keep introducing ways to get our leaf tickets, they should introduce ways for us to earn them. Yeah. That hundred percent they need to do that um <laughs> yeah because because it, it's just it's crazy to me that like we talked about this last week but it's crazy to me that they're introducing the fortune cookies but not removing other leaf ticket expenditures you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. um like if, if you're charging leaf tickets for these cool unique items make that the only thing you charge leaf tickets for i want to get the different terrains without spending the 1,050 leaf tickets it takes to get the full terrain. Yeah. You know? Because right right there, you you have to spend 40 bucks to get that. At that point, you've bought two copies of (laughs) Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, one for you, one for your friend, and you both start a town together. Right. Two different towns. And it comes complete with everything. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. That's insane to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, when you when you put it in in perspective, I mean, it really is, and especially because a lot of us are, you know, we have been playing a lot, and it takes a lot longer to level up and to get measly ten leaf tickets, you know. Yeah, each leaf ticket. It, yeah, that's essentially the only income of leaf tickets that we have. Right. It's the ten that you get when you level up, and we're at the point where. All our villagers are super high level, so it takes them forever to grow (laughs) one. And then we need them to level up 20 times. Mm -hmm. We need 20 of those little hearts to get to uh, to 10 tickets. Um, Yeah, I I think each level, like, it should reward you with more leaf tickets. Right. Like, even if it, like, started at 1, like, if you're level Mm 0 and you grow to level 1... And you get one leaf ticket, right? Hmm. By the time, if you, uh, right now I'm level 74. If I grow to level 75, I want 75 leaf tickets. <laughs> right. I mean, it makes sense, especially with the way they're pricing things now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's so, it's it's crazy. Also, we'll, we'll get into this later, but they did kind of increase the rewards that we get for daily login bonuses. Right. Mm-hmm. And this is good because before it'd be like, oh, you get one leaf ticket for logging in today. (laughs) And I'm like, what can you do with that leaf ticket? That is such a joke. Right. 
that's a terrible reward. <laughs> right. So. so this is like a bone they're throwing out as I think the daily login bonuses. They're nice, but you know, uh, <laughs> there should be more. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of sad though because I feel like lately, I've I've had more complaints about Pocket Camp than like good things. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but there are still some good things. I I do kind of like some of the stuff they're doing. Um, but at the same time, it's expensive. So, for example, let's get into the next little thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, Motors. We got some new paint jobs available. I already saw you sporting one. Yes. It's so cool. I love it. <laughs> yep. Um, I totally forgot. I I kind of haven't been playing New Leaf in a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I forgot to scan in like all of these amiibo to see if their campers are the same as the paint jobs that are available. Right. And oh, I should probably name what the paint jobs are. So we've got <laughs> the Summer Isabel camper. The Reese camper, Timmy and Tommy's camper, and KK with no slider camper. (laughs) Yeah, I I don't know why it's called just KK. I thought it was uh, interesting. They didn't call it like KK camper? No, just, uh, and and then no no slider, right. (laughs) Yeah, because that that rhymes. Right. (laughs) That that would work. KK camper. (laughs) Dropping beats in the woods. (laughs) In that um, one, that one I do believe is the same as in uh, New Leaf after the update. Yeah, that that one looked familiar. Mm-hmm. I, I remember seeing that one pretty recently. Um, funny story about the amiibo. I, so I bought all of the Animal Crossing amiibo, or at least I thought I did. Oh. Because at one point I visited a friend's town and they had kicks, like they had scanned in the kicks amiibo. Mm-hmm. And I looked at their camper and I was like, I've never seen this one. I thought I had everybody. I could have sworn I did. Right. And so I'm looking at my amiibo. At that point, I had all my Animal Crossing amiibo on a shelf, right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm looking at the shelf and I'm like, I don't have kicks. I thought I did. <laughs> and so I'm kind of looking all over the place because this shelf fell off my wall at one point. Oh, okay. And I didn't know like where... Right. Uh, or I don't know if I lost that uh, that amiibo at that point, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I ended up buying another Kix. Hmm. At least I think I bought another Kix. Right. For all I know, I didn't even have it. <laughs> right. You know. Um. But anyways, so yeah, that that's just my side little story about the <laughs> the campers. I saw Kix camper and I was like, I don't have that. <laughs> Especially so. because you know Kix is uh, pretty popular among our group. Yeah, I like Kix a lot. Yeah. Kix is a real go-getter. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I love that little guy. <laughs> um, also, shoes are one of the best things in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I love shoes. Yep. Closed-toed shoes all the way. <laughs> <laughs> For me. I know you like the, the barefoot look. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the um, fact that, the, the you know, there's variety even on that. That's That's so Animal Crossing. Yeah, you can you can wear whatever you want. That's animal. <laughs> hashtag right. Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, so all of these campers, um, once again, Isabel, Reese, Timmy, and Tommy, and KK themed campers cost a hundred and fifty leaf tickets. Um, th- this is on the cheaper end. I think the camper like design prices are much better priced. Yes, reasonable. Than than everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like I, I like this, and I also like it because like we have tons of camper options that don't cost leaf tickets. Right. Um, because that's my big problem with the terrains. Like I wouldn't mind some of the terrains costing leaf tickets, right? Mm-hmm. But right now, all of them do. Except for the a couple that when they first came out, you right? Know? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, we need more terrains that cost just bells, right? Though I'm totally broke right now. I have like fifteen thousand bells. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> um, right. But... Yeah, because buying the fortune cookies it, it adds up. I I have about twenty thousand bells. I had a hundred thousand not that long ago. Yeah. See, it, it goes away quickly. <laughs> Everything does. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have to pay play more. Everything they add, we have to play more. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I think totally, I, I'm totally fine with the camper pricing. Because 
it, it's like a pretty cool big change for your camper and it's only 150 leaf tickets right and these are very beloved designs from our favorite characters i, I think these are great yeah i i <sighs> I'm going to be tempted to get one of them, too. They're, they're pretty cool. I like your KK slider one. Right. Or just just the KK one. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think these are fair. Um, definitely more. Uh, I feel like the value is there with these. Yes. And, you know, I, I can see them adding more from the the mainline characters like Sable, Kix. Um, yeah, they, they, they're going to be adding more uh, character like camper styles for sure. Yeah, and um, I imagine there could be at least, like, the 16 that, uh, yeah, probably the 16, like, w- campers that have amiibo. Yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are, like, some campers that don't have amiibo, you know? Um, so if you're playing, if you play Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo and you don't have Amiibo to scan in, they still put some characters in the campsite for you. Oh, to enjoy. okay. I see what you're saying. Yes, that's right. Like, I think um, Joan, who sells turnips. Oh, okay. Makes sense. She, she doesn't she, have an Amiibo, right? Yeah, she has her own camper. Um so uh, there, there are a whole handful of characters like that, you right. know? Mm-hmm. So it'd be nice. I think Jingle has his own camper. I'm surprised they haven't done anything with Jingle <laughs> during the holiday. Yeah. I mean, uh, th- that was his time. That was Toy Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we'll see more of that, though. Because mm-hmm. um, I'm liking the the new event, which we're also going to talk about later. So many things coming up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we should probably keep this going. So right now, we have the Gyroidite Scavenger Hunt. And this event, you essentially are collecting gyroids and you're placing... They're kind of just located in the area, either on the ground or in a tree, you know? Right. Um, But you're collecting them and they're the crafting materials you need to make... The look-alike items, which, yes. yeah, I guess this is what I wanted to get to. <laughs> um, so how are you feeling about the scavenger hunt? I really like it. Um, we were going to mention that it is very different from the events that we've had in the past. Uh, at least the way you collect the items, you have to keep an eye out for them. They may There may be one or two, or there may be at least like five or six sometimes in a marketplace and even in OK Motors. So it encourages you to visit all the They're areas. OK. I didn't yeah. know they're in OK Motors. <laughs> right. Uh, I just found man. out today. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like I'm visit. I haven't visited OK Motors in way too long. <laughs> right. That's the area you visit the least because, well, I guess unless you like the, the brake tapper, but I don't think we really do. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done the brake tapper in a while. Right. I need to because I was getting pretty good at it at one point and mm. I want those items still. Right. Um, But OK, now that I know... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I it, it's easy to ignore because you don't need it all the time. Right. Unless you're going to, like, pay off your car loan for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> or um, what was the other thing you could... Or change your, you know, camper right. skin. Right. Um, which I don't do a lot. I haven't done pretty much since, like, the first month of the game. <laughs> right. And, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to now. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know what? The last time I did it, I think I did the Rover's Garden event. I think I still have Rover's Camper. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Right now, (laughs) Um, which is a fun one. But yeah, I I guess everything in my place needs to be remodeled (laughs) because I've been sitting in the same camp for a while now. (laughs) Right. Um, Okay, well, that gives me a reason to go over there. Yes. But also... (laughs) It's easy to avoid because, you know, you already spend so much time doing everything in all the other areas. Yes. And by then, I was playing today and I was like, man, I've been playing for 50 minutes in one session. Right. This is long. (laughs) This is a lot of of playtime. It's kind of classic. Like the the first days when we started, I remember playing for hours. Yeah. And so, like, that's a long time every three hours. (laughs) So every three hours, I'm spending 50 minutes on pocket camp. Come on. Right. That, that's excessive, you know? 
Yeah, but you know, it's better than those pesky gardening events. Oh, I, I don't miss those at all. Yeah, that's true. It is better. <laughs> but but yeah, you just spend a lot of time. Whereas like, say, I mean, when we first get the next Animal Crossing game, we're probably going to play for hours oh, upon yes. hours. Yes. <laughs> but eventually, like you get into the, the routine of it, you know. I call them the golden days of Animal Crossing. <laughs> right. Once you're once you're in the routine, you're playing like thirty minutes to an hour for your day. Right. You know, and that feels great. Yes, it's perfect. And this game, fifty minutes every three hours. That's so demanding. Right, and and you know it's it's fun, but it's not the same. Not you know we it, we like Pocket Camp, but. It just doesn't compare to the freedom that you get in the mainline game. Yeah. So, man, I feel bad going back to complaints about Pocket Camp. <laughs> I guess I'm just getting like more and more antsy for a new game. Um, oh, yes. Pocket Camp's been nice. Um, so one thing, okay, one thing I really do like about the gyroid I scavenger hunt is that... You, you can find these items without doing the chores, mm -hmm. you know? Yes, that's right. So, so say you're really busy, you can't spend 50 minutes on the game because you're just on your lunch break and you're like, I, I, you want to eat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of spending 50 minutes playing, you can just go to each little location once and pick up the gyrodites. Right. You know, you don't have to talk to a character and do a whole thing, um you know, give them a fish or whatever to get the material. Right. You can just get it. And that's what I do like about it. So on the one hand, maybe I'm playing longer because some sessions I can talk to the villager, do some things for them mm -hmm. and get crafting materials and money. Right. But then on top of that, I'm looking around the map and getting gyroidites. Right. So, so in some sense, it takes a little longer, but in others, like you have the chance, you can pick what you want to do. Right. For like know? the times when you don't have a lot of time <laughs> and uh, so you can just go and look for the gyrodite specifically. Yeah. So th that's a pretty cool thing to do. Um, you can just do the gyrodite hunt and then go to the next place. Right. That being said, there are a couple of stretch goals. Um, like if you fulfill a villager request, like about 10, 20, or 30, I think you get five each of Gyrodite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they put a lot of things. Um, I think it was like every five, maybe it was a little less in the beginning. Like mm -hmm. the first request you did, the second request you did, you'd get some Gyrodites. I think, but it went up to 30, right. I believe. Yes. So So once you hit 30 requests, you got all the Gyrodites that you could get. Right, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is nice because that makes it a little quicker, too, to pull off. Um, right. And another good one is the request at your campsite. When you talk to villagers that want to talk to you, most of the time they give you five gyrodite. Those are the only ones that reward you with that um, item by doing requests. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Um, I, I love getting leaf tickets for everything. <laughs> So that that is a great thing. Um, it, it, and that's one of the good things they're doing. I think since they've added like more things to spend fortune cookies on, they have been like making a little bit of a push to make it easier for us to get leaf tickets. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's good. I think it's something we need. Hopefully they're, they're a little more generous because like <laughs> I said, 21 bucks can disappear just yes. like that in a snap. <laughs> um, beware, everyone. <laughs> you don't have to buy leaf tickets. <laughs> right. um, but if you want to, sometimes it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so as far as like the items that we can craft with these gyroidites, we've got the lookalike items. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a whole outfit that where we can dress up as Reese. We've got a hat and an apron. And then there's a Timmy. Uh, uh, actually, is, is it the Tommy? Right, Tommy. Shirt? Mm -hmm. So we got the Tommy hat and shirt. Um, we've got the Isabel spring top and skirt. And then we've got a KK Slider hat. 
Mm-hmm. I love and then there were two premium items. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the Isabel hat, which is 50 leaf tickets. So that'll complete your Isabel outfit, which will look super cute. <laughs> and then there's the KK slider guitar, which is 100 leaf tickets. Mm-hmm. And I don't mind the pricing for these. I think I wish all of like the premium items were this low a price. Right. Um, you know, interesting fact, as soon as I saw the hat, I wanted it that second. So, <laughs> you know, there's always the option of uh, using leaf tickets instead of the gyrodite. You won't believe it, it It wanted over a thousand leaf tickets just to get it right away. Really? Uh, right. I thought that was crazy. So I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll get gyrodite. A thousand I'm is guessing, too much. I'm guessing that was the KK slider hat? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm noticing like these gyroidites are kind of a bigger deal than the other crafting materials we've gotten. Right. Um cuz I think even like when you collect a bunch of them, like they sell for 100 gyroidite or, or 100 bells each, hmm. which is quite a bit more than I think a regular crafting material is like 5 bells. Yes, right. Yeah, so it's it's 20 times the value, which is yeah, pretty that's right. crazy. That's right. So so if you're doing this event, like keep collecting those gyroid eyes because yes. they're going to make you some money right. later. <laughs> right. Um, especially for me because I'm low on money. But like 10, 10 of these things <laughs> is a thousand bells. Right. That's that's a great value. <laughs> yeah. The only downside, I guess, in a way. I, I like a lot of these items a lot, especially that KK hat. So I'm going to want to get duplicates, you know, to dress up my villagers with it. And I guess I'm not <laughs> going to make a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're Yeah. You got to spend a lot of money to make these things. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, I'm liking these. I like your idea of dressing up everybody in your town as or in your campsite as KK Slider. Yeah, oh, I can see it already. I want it. <laughs> you should. Uh, I hope you have KK Slider there while everybody's dressed up. <laughs> oh, that would be Slider. awesome. Yeah, that that's gonna be a great campsite. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in um, a, a quick a uh, quick note on the KK Slider guitar. It's an actual item, and if a villager uses it, they 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 won't just pluck it like you know they do the regular musical instruments. They'll actually grab it and they'll actually strum it like KK Slider. I thought that was really, really neat. Yeah, I saw your picture that you posted of that, and that is great. Yeah. I love uh, the guitar. Uh, first off, I mean, I love playing guitar. Right. <laughs> it's so fun. And so any guitar item, I instantly get it. <laughs> so I remember for a while we had the one guitar. I think it was the metal guitar, the yes. red one. Right. Um, I've got three of those right away. <laughs> I was like, I need two. Uh, wait, no, I need one for my camp, one for downstairs in my camper, <laughs> one for upstairs in my camper. Um, yes, I-, I love guitars. So I saw the KK Slider one and I was like, I need that right now. Yeah. <laughs> it- it's a great item. Um, right. I would love to see more of that too. Like more yeah. of the villagers actually using the things. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That'd be great. Gosh, that's why uh, I'm predicting it right now. That's why Animal Crossing Switch is taking so long. There, they've got to record. They've got to make every villager be able to play with everything in the yeah. game. Yep. Yeah. So, you heard it here first. Uh, then, I talked to development, yeah. <laughs> and that's what they're working on. <laughs> you know what? Then it's it's painful, but it's worth it. Then. <laughs> yeah, it, it's worth well, the wait. It, that's th- these are the things I love Animal Crossing for. Just the little tiny details yes. that make you so happy. Yeah, <laughs> that you're experiencing it all. <laughs> oh, it's gonna it's gonna be so great. Yeah. See, I see. I can be negative on Pocket Camp a little bit, <laughs> but it, it it gets me sometimes. It right. really gets me. <laughs> true. <laughs> and true. animals playing guitar. That, that's one yeah. of the things. Um, so, yeah, this event ends on May 9th. Um, so we've still got quite a bit to go. Um, I've already gotten about more than half of the items. I think I'm only missing two at this mm. point. So I think I need like 50 more gyroidites and I'll be done. Right. Um, and I've barely played two. I've been playing 
I mean, I just complained about playing 50 minutes at a time, but that's because <laughs> that's been... Uh, I've played so little, I try to get in as much as possible in oh. the times I do play. Okay, gotcha. Right, right. And yeah, it, it's actually really easy. So there's a, a good opportunity to get duplicates. Yeah, yeah. So it's not too bad. It's a good... Uh, if you're in a rush, you could just go to each place, pick up the gyroidites, get out of there. Right. You know? <laughs> Um, and it, it, it's easy as that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so finally, the last little thing they added. Actually, there are some more. Um, but as far as items go, mm-hmm. they added Brewster's. Um, is it a coop? Brewster's coop. coop. Right. <laughs> yeah. It, it seems strange that they called it Brewster's coop when it's like a coffee machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it also makes sense because, you know, Brewster, he loves to brew that yeah. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, but once again... 350 leaf tickets right. for this item. Uh, what what are you feeling about this one? Uh we we saw it coming and I mean it's it's a classic character, very beloved, but you know, 350 again, you know at least it's every 2 months or so. Yeah. Yeah, man, I I need him. I don't I have 6 leaf tickets, so I'm a ways away. Oh, it's going to be a long <laughs> grind, yeah. Yeah, um He's available till June twenty third, so I've got more than like a two months to go uh, right. to do it, which I'm hoping is enough time. Um, but the one thing I really wanted to say is that I do like that these items are becoming specific to the character. Mm-hmm. Um, like last week, we talked about um, Celeste's uh, telescope because that event was ending. Or that of uh, that item was ending, right? Um, but what I like about that is like you know Celeste does the whole constellations in the sky. She gets a telescope, and it makes a lot of sense, you know. <laughs> right. And then Brewster, he's getting a little coffee shop thing, so I think that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Very, very specific, and and just really nice to have. Yep. So um, you had a good reminder in here if you wanted to remind everyone. Yes, about... uh, you can only have one of these special characters at a time, be it K.K. Slider, Tom Nook, Celeste, or Brewster. So if you have multiple of the items, I believe it's whoever you had last. So, you know, it's recommended to only have one item or if you can block access to the other, the other item. For example, I have the Celeste Telescope but I don't have a space for anybody to be in front of it. So by default, KK Slider is my special character in my campsite. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that there's like a workaround yeah. to determine which character is in your place. Yeah, if you wanted to still have uh, Tom Nook's super special I, you know, chair that we always <laughs> known him for, yeah, you can still have it and you can still choose which character you want. Just uh, play around with the placement of it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, and I I still haven't put out like any of these things, but uh, at least for a while, I I had KK for a little bit. Hmm. But I wish they would change that though, so you could have multiples of the or not yeah. multiples, but like multiple characters. Right. Right. In your place, um, I think that'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, and so. Oh. You know, I just oh, had yeah, a thought. What if uh, they ask you for things too? Why not? Oh yeah, I mean, give us some other way to interact with yeah. them. I like that. <laughs> I think that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. You know uh, how how often is KK Slider camping? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably all the time, <laughs> to be honest. But but still, he should be he should know how to enjoy himself. Yeah, <laughs> and get some stuff out of you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So this is a new thing um, that I didn't know about. Did you want to cover, I guess, the notifications that we have in the game now? Right. So after the biggest update that we had, um, I want to say last week, I noticed that we were getting more notifications, you know, on your, on your be it an Android or an iPhone device. So I, I dug, dug around a little bit and I went under settings. So um, I wanted to mention how to get to this because it's a really neat feature. So in the main menu, when, when you're playing Pocket Camp, at the bottom of the screen, you see the fo- uh, bar of five different items. So you can tap on the one that says more, 
which is at the bottom right and it's the little squares. Once you tap that you get a little sub menu and you can tap settings and you can scroll down to see what notifications you can turn on or off. You can either choose to have them all on or off or have them individual. And the list that they have right now is for login, which is actually, I'm not sure what that one is for, but th there's some really cool ones. The next one is craft, which basically it notifies you when an item that you were waiting to get crafted gets completed. I think that's really cool because, you, you, you know, sometimes you forget and you want to be always have something crafting in your tree slots or however many slots you have. So this is a, a neat way to, to get a reminder. Yeah, I like that one a lot because um, I, I always want to see when my new amenity is done pretty much right away. Right. But I've just kind of been trying to remember it on my own. Right. <laughs> so that one's great because now I'm going to know okay, uh, my amenity is done. I can yeah. go unveil it, have my campsite be super lit. <laughs> yeah, and, and you don't waste any time when, when an, another amenity could be brewing. Yeah, that's true. And you get get right back into the action. Start yeah. making the next thing. Yep, right. Exactly. <laughs> so a couple more. They have one for Gulliver's chop, uh, Shop, which I guess is for when he's back with souvenirs, if anybody's still <laughs> doing that. I um, still have to. I haven't been doing it mostly because I yeah. ran, out of, ran out of wood <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, from making all the little Dharma, giant right. Dharma things. <laughs> um, I need it. I need the equivalent, but in metal <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, like, that, I have a bunch nice, of metal. Right? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, uh, I would probably use that one. Yes, just right. because I'm still trying to get O'Hare. Oh, he okay. Did you get the other two? Yeah, I've gotten the other two, but I'm missing O'Hare, and I'm like, come on. Yeah. You gotta come to me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> come cool. Home. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> then there's also one for fortune cookies, which I guess hmm, it must be when they're in stock. I hope so, because that's important to me. Because if so, when you buy your fortune cookies, you have to wait twenty four hours, mm -hmm. right? I I want to know exactly when those are available because right. I want to shorten the amount of time that I spend getting those fortune yeah. cookies. Right, that's right. really important. <laughs> yeah. After this, I'm gonna turn that notification on right away. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So then there's also one for market box, which I guess would notify you if somebody bought something. I guess if you wanted to it would refill the, the slot right, right away. There's also one for query request. Which I actually really like this one because it, it lets you know when somebody is asking for help. Um, I think that's great because, you know, we've been playing so much that sometimes we forget to, to lend a hand in to others. I think this is a great little reminder. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to turn this one on because I've been bad about helping people get to the quarry. Yes, right. Mostly because I haven't been asking to go myself. <laughs> that too, right. Yeah. You know, um, they, they kind of go together. Yeah, because I, I feel like, I mean, I don't know, the less and less the quarry doesn't seem worth it to me. Because mm -hmm. the big thing that I would go to before was for essences, you know, mm -hmm. that's the big thing to go for. Right. But then you go and you're like, man, I got one essence out of this. What a bummer. <laughs> Whereas, like, right now I'm taking advantage of the, the... At one point they updated the game. And villagers in your campsite started giving you a lot more. Yes. And so they were giving you, like, two to six essences. Right. And I'm like, that's so much better. Because if you fill your... Right now, I need a bunch of harmonious essences. Yes. I filled my campsite with harmonious people, and I get them like that. Yeah, right. It's so quick. So, I don't know. I, less and less, I'm interested in going into the quarry. I'm Sometimes I'm interested for, like, the crafting materials. So right now, we have gyroidites. Right. Um, I should probably ask and go in when we, those are around, you know? Right. But um, you, you make a good point because um, we notice that a lot of less people are asking. I mean, the quarry is just losing. They, they need to do something to, to get us back into it. Yeah, they need to give us some better things. Like, you know what? I would go to the quarry if I could get fortune cookies. 
Oh, okay. Now that that's a premium value. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. That's that's great actually. Yeah. If there were just like one cheaper way to get the fortune cookies. Because in some sense, like, you can still spend 20 leaf tickets to go there. Right. You know? But getting one cookie out of that is, like, half the price. Right. Yeah, <laughs> Less <right>. than half. <laughs> so I would go for that. That would be nice. Right. And, you know, tying with the previous notification, there's also one for, it's, co- it's called Query Open, which is when five people have, lent you a hand and you're able to go to the query now you get a notification and hopefully you don't forget you know that happened to us a lot we we would ask and then we we would just never check again during the day yeah that's true i yeah and that's part of the other reason i stopped because i would ask for help (laughs) and then i wouldn't even take it in the end right (laughs) so i just forget yeah and that's a bummer (laughs) yeah i think these notifications are gonna help a lot And the last one is called sharing, which I'm not sure what it is about either. Yeah, I think that's going to be for when people share like bugs on your garden. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Yes, that's going to be a good one then. Yeah, because that's the only thing I can or the only event where I can think sharing plays a role. Yeah, yeah. That's great. So (laughs) that that one I like too. Yeah. Because then you're like cool my garden it's full let's go yeah (laughs) time time to catch some legs (laughs) which are eggs with legs right but yeah that's legs with two g's (laughs) that's a sergio original (laughs) um yeah so finally our last topic on this pocket camp updates because we've had a bunch lately um but this is the end the daily login bonuses are finally worth it (laughs) <laughs> yeah. It, ab- about time. Um when we log in, we used to get like one essence maybe and that was like <laughs> once every 2 weeks, you right, know. Right. <laughs> now yeah. now our login bonuses pretty much daily we're getting 5 of some type of essence. Right. Great. About time. <laughs> right. The one essence thing, that was a joke. <laughs> The other big improvement was leaf tickets. Now we have three times that we can get 20 leaf tickets and two daily login bonuses where we get 30. That's good. That's good for cookies. <laughs> yeah, that's 120 leaf tickets right there. Yeah. So that that gets me almost... That's about a third of the way to my Brewster item. True, that I that's need. right. Mm-hmm. So that that for me is great. I'm down with that. Um, it's about because time. before it was the same thing where they'd give you one measly leaf ticket in your <laughs> daily login bo- bonus and you're like oh thanks a heap really needed that one leaf ticket i don't know what to buy with it that's too much <laughs> yeah use some fertilizer i don't know because <laughs> i'm out whatever <laughs> um but yeah so these things great i love that This really improves the game a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, shoot. I totally forgot this other thing (laughs) that that we're going to talk about. The memories. Um, I I still don't know much about them. Do you want to go over the memories portion? Sure. So at the same menu where where the settings are, there's a new one called Scrapbook. And that's where the memories are. Um, The main memories that we know about are the special ones with the fortune cookies. You have to get... I'm guessing all of the items or maybe most of the items and then the a specific character like Phil Bird or Hopkins. And if you fulfill those requirements, which you, which you can check in that menu, you get a little, it's like a skit or like an animation and there's text and they're pretty cool. And there's also some that are not fortune cookie specific. For example, I did one today with Pee Wee the Gorilla and, uh, oops, I'm sorry, I'm missing the name here. Is it Hamlet? Uh, yes, uh, right, the hamster. So yeah. they were working out and they were competing. And, you know, it's a little funny skit. I, I, I think they're really nice. And, you know, if you're looking for memories with a specific character that you like, a villager, that it's, a neat, it's a neat little thing. And hopefully they're going to be adding more. Yeah, I like that. Um, 
so for me, at first I thought the only mem- all the em- memories were attached to like leaf ticket items. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad I was wrong with that. <laughs> um, right. So yeah, you don't have to get the fortune cookies, for example, to unlock some memories. There are some that are available. And so that's essentially the extent of what I knew. I kind of saw a post on Twitter mm-hmm. of people saying they got memories. And I was like, er, no, the post was specifically looking at the requirements to get a memory. Oh, okay. And then I was like, oh, I can see that. And so I kind of looked at the scrapbook and I was like, oh, okay, so I can make some things happen. Right. <laughs> I don't have to spend leaf tickets to do right. it. I, I think that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Th- that's really good because that that's mostly my problem with with some things. Like, that's the big problem with the terrains where, like, you need leaf tickets to enjoy it. But I'm glad right. the memories, like, you don't need leaf tickets right. to enjoy right. it. You can just mm. enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Which is kind of rare nowadays in this game. Yep. <laughs> Sadly. It, it, so, so sad. <laughs> but it, it'll get better. I'm sure this is just the beginning and they're still trying to measure everything out right. Right, um, right. So we'll see. Hopefully it improves. Um, but I don't know. Also, I know some people really love spending money on these games or these types of games so maybe they're just making a lot and they're like well who cares we're making yeah. money yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so what are you gonna do <laughs> <laughs> all right um so i guess the next topic is i put out episode two of is it time for animal crossing switch um you watched it right what did you think of this episode I thought it was great, but at the same time, I thought it was very painful <laughs> because it just it just highlights how long we've been waiting and, and with with no official news, and it's just it's so unfair. <laughs> yeah. So essentially, this episode, I want I was looking at the development times of each Animal Crossing game, right? And kind of uh, I wanted to look at specifically like how long it took to make the game, um, how long. After each game, or I guess how much time passed before a new game was announced, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. And then how much time after that till it was released. Right. Mm-hmm. From announcement uh, to release. Yeah, from announcement to release. And so essentially, let's summarize my findings. The average game comes out every four years. Um, currently, it's been... F- Five and a half ish years since the Japanese release of New Leaf. Right, that that just buried the hatchet. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's so it's so hard <laughs> to be waiting that long for right. a new mainline game. Um, and then so each game is announced about two years after a mainline game, right? right? So. Oh, we haven't heard a single thing about a new game. Right. And that hurts. <laughs> so l- let's say even even after the the last release of New Leaf, you know, which was in 2013 for North America, that would have put it at around 2015, which is two and a half years ago. So, you know, we've been waiting so long. Yeah. Um, and then finally, once a game is announced, it comes out about one year and 10 months after that. Right. Which is, it's still kind of a long wait, you know? Right. Um, Almost two years. But I think that's, that number is also really thrown off by New Leaf. Right. Because that game, between, like, when it was announced, it was E3 2010, the first time we saw the game, right? right. Mm-hmm. We didn't get it till almost E3 2013. <laughs> right, right. Which is a three-year wait, essentially. Right. Um, but then also, like, City Folk came out really quickly after it was announced. Right. Um, but, yeah, if you haven't checked out that video, um, head on over to the YouTube. You can see it. Hopefully it doesn't make you too sad that we've been waiting <laughs> for a very long time. Um yeah, and hopefully it's not too hard to follow. I did post on my website the the whole script and everything. Um, I still have to link that in the description. So, But by the time you listen to this, 
mm. the uh, the written version will be available. So if you are more of a visual learner, that's yeah. the way to go. <laughs> right, right. No, I thought it was very well explained. And, and you know, hopefully the 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 time that it takes from announcement to release the the average is one year ten months hopefully for the switch one you know it's gonna be like five months only I yeah mean, if, I w- if city folk did it you know why not just repeat it <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course unless i mean who knows what's gonna happen this e3 mm-hmm. um let, let's go ahead and get into our final topic of today. Um, not exactly Animal Crossing related, but still, uh, it's got to have an Animal Crossing twist to it. <laughs> so let's talk early E3 2018 predictions. Um, did you want to start? Did you want me to start? Um, either way, it's up to you. All right. Um, let's go ahead and start with yours. Sounds good. In my first one, it is for Animal Crossing, and but I kind of have two. Um, you know, the first one is the the op- optimistic view, and for that one, I can see Animal Crossing confirmed for the Switch. They would date it for early 2019. They would give the official title of the game and a logo, and just short a little trailer, highlighting the biggest new features of the game. You know, one or maybe a couple, whatever there may be, they're going to focus on the new stuff to, you know, to get us excited. And yeah, they're going to tell us early 2019. I think it's it's possible, but I think it's a little, a little optimistic in a way. <laughs> the... I do... I do really like this, uh, the opt that you have an optimistic <laughs> <laughs> prediction. Um, but also listening to this, it reminded me of when we first saw like New Leaf, mm-hmm. the trailer. Oh. And in the trailer, like the big thing was like, you know, they're just doing their daily things. But then at the end, they like jump into the ocean and start yeah. swimming because we were <laughs> never able to do that before. Yeah. Yeah, and they didn't uh, even have to mention it. Just by looking at the trailer, we knew. Yeah, everything was exciting Yeah, right then and there. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so now, because I hadn't even thought of that, like seeing a whole new feature, I've just been like, I mean, there are tons of things that we want to see in the game, but I right. totally forgot, like Nintendo decides, but <laughs> I'm I'm really excited to see what the big new thing will be. <laughs> right, right. I mean... Just like five or ten seconds showing a free roaming camera. I, uh, I just want it so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the on the other side, I have a more realistic um, prediction for what Animal Crossing could be shown at E3. That would be this: the game still gets confirmed for the Switch. It gets a generic 2019 date, so no specific, and that's it. No logo, no name, no trailer. It's more like. We heard you guys. We know your concern. Yes, we're working on it. Next year, mo- let's move on to Smash. <laughs> uh-huh. so, so in uh, this case, would it just be uh, like, is this like no trailer at all either? Like just a title card, not even a title card, like Animal Crossing Switch 2019. Right. Oh, yeah. Not, so not even <laughs> like the Metroid Prime 4 trailer of the logo that they got. Not even that. It's more yeah, like a... Four. <laughs> right. It's more like just... Uh, you know, just to appease any concern that's out there. Yes, we're working on it. It'll be next year. But here's what we have for this year. And then they move on. Oh, I, I hope so. So much. Right. I mean, <laughs> you know, of course, we want the optimistic or we want more. You know, we want, yes, it's coming out this August. <laughs> but, you know, anything, uh, just as long as we know that it's coming, I think would be a relief in a way, a big one. Yeah, I th- I think it'd be great. For real, <laughs> for <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> and on to other regular Nintendo games uh, predictions. I can see um, the new Smash Brothers game getting dated for November, and they would show some of the returning characters and maybe the, some of the returning features. Or, like for example, I want to see Smash Run come to the the Switch version. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, and then. The Yoshi game, I can see them dating it for either September or, or October. I can also see them showing Fire Emblem finally and getting a December date. I think that's going to be like the scene of late of last year, the game that we cannot believe that we're going to get. But yeah, they're, they're actually going to manage to get it out by December, I think. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty great. Yeah. 
And then last but not least, I can definitely see this one happening, a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but for the 3DS. The only reason it's <laughs> because they haven't done one with the Alolan Pokemon from Sun and Moon and the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I think, you know, since they have the engine already on the 3DS, they're going to be like, yeah, let's just put another one out there. Yeah, and that really makes a lot of sense. Like, you, you, you tie it all together with, like, the exact thing. Like, they haven't done Sun and Moon um, Pokemon for Mystery Dungeons. So. Right. You know, in, in, to clarify, this would only happen if the Switch game for Pokemon doesn't get released this year. If it does, oh. this one is probably not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, you. It, I think yours are good. Like, they cover all the things. I like the little surprise with the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Um, kind of sucks that it'd be for 3DS. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I have some different dates on my predictions, at least mm-hmm. for like Smash and Yoshi and Fire Emblem. Um, right. So I guess I'll go over my predictions. First and foremost, we're not going to see anything on 3DS during their presentation, um, at least until the tree house. Right. At that point, I think they're going to show us stuff from, of course, Luigi's Mansion and WarioWare. Right, at least those two. Th- those two are my favorite ones. So. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love... Well, I never played the original Luigi's Mansion, um, but I played the second one on 3DS, and I, I had a good time playing it. So yeah. I think the uh, I, I want to play that. And then WarioWare, I just love WarioWare. Yeah. I think they're super fun. And so I, I would get that of those two out of mm. all of the ones. Um, um, I, I made a weird prediction... Uh, I we're both big fans of Splatoon 2. Mm-hmm. And so at this event, there's going to be the World Championships where the past few months, Nintendo has been determining like four teams to play at mm-hmm. the World Championships at E3. Um, just this past weekend, the finalist was chosen from the North America region. Right. Um, so this was... Uh, I don't think Mexico got in on this, but... Oh. U.S. and Canada were both represented right. in this portion. Um, and so the winners were set to destroy X, which they are defending their title from last year. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. So anyways, my big prediction with this is I think they're going to announce Octo Expansion's release date during this championship. Mm-hmm. And I think it's going to be July 21st, which would be the one year anniversary of Splatoon 2. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I think that'd be a good time for it to come out. It's a fun summer game, you know? Right. Um, Yeah, and it's a big update for a game that's been out a year at that point. Yeah, exactly. Um, Next thing, they are doing a Smash Invitational. And my prediction is that we're going to see not only Inklings, but two new characters on top of that. Hmm. Um, I'm almost... I I don't know. I I was almost going to guess we were going to see like four new characters and they were going to be the only playable characters just to even just to even the battlefield for the Smash Invitational. Yeah, that'd be a great way. Yeah, because I mean, everybody like, you know, they're seasoned veterans in the game. Right. And the only way to really throw them off (laughs) their usual skill would be to have a completely new group of characters to play with. Right. Um. But I, I'm just going, they're probably going to have the classics. Breath of the Wild Zelda will be there. Mm. Um, Mario, you know. The, they're going to have some of the main Smash characters. Probably Kirby. But yeah, I'm going with two new characters. And I'm going to make a specific prediction on one of the characters. It's going to be Snip and Clip from Snipper Clips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that game. It's a fun co-op puzzle game. So Yeah. I think they should be in Smash because they'd be pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, in I've always loved this prediction of yours. I, I think it's it'll be a great addition. I, I, I can definitely see it happening. <laughs> yeah. Um. So one of the things that worried me about this was that Nintendo said they would be talking about 2018 Switch games, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> They did a similar thing last year where they're like, we're going to talk about Switch games coming out this year, which was yeah. 2017. 
And then they hit us with surprises with stuff 2018 and beyond, yeah, you know? Right, exactly. So I think it's safe to assume we're going to get some surprises still, you know? Right. Because right. we essentially know the schedule right now. Well, we don't know the schedule, but we know what's on the docket. Right. And that is Yoshi, Fire Emblem, Smash, and possibly Pokemon. Because mm. mm-hmm. um, the fiscal report still said Pokemon could be 2018 or later. You right, know? right. Um, so if we get all four of those games, that's like one game a month past after July, you right. know? Mm-hmm. Um, so here's where my timeline's a little bit different than yours. I think Yoshi could be an August game. Mm-hmm. I think Smash is going to come out in September with the online, um, Oh, that makes program. a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, cause that's a big online game, yeah. you know? So I think that could be September. I think Fire Emblem would be October. Just because, you know, Fire Emblem Warriors came out October last year, too. Right. So it would kind of match up there. And then I think Pokemon could be November, because Pokemon games like to come out in November. They're a big holiday hit, you know? Yeah, it would be the the weekend before Thanksgiving, as per usual. Yeah, so I could see that being it, if Pokemon's coming. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Pokemon could sell any time of the year, but (laughs) who wouldn't want to sell it on... You know, the holiday yeah. time. Right. <laughs> um, finally, let's get into my crazy predictions. <laughs> One of them, not as crazy because I've been saying this forever. But the first is I think we're going to get Retro Studios finally to announce their game. Um, I think, I don't know. I, I haven't believed it in the past, but I decided to just go with something crazy if I'm going to bring up <laughs> Retro Studios. <laughs> I think they're going to make a new Ice Climbers game. Hmm. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's completely crazy. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know what? I'm going to be crazy with it. <laughs> hey, you could be calling it. Yeah. So I think uh, they're called Retro Studios. They're retro. Hmm. So I think they're going to work on retro style games. Yeah. Okay. That, so, that's that's good. <laughs> so Ice Climbers. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, this one is more of I just kind of want them to redeem themselves. But mm. I think we're going to see Mario Party 11. Right. They need some redemption. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Because Mario Parties have been going downhill for a little yes. bit. You oh, know? my God. Yes. <laughs> um. They need they need to improve what those games have been doing <laughs> and make them feel like a fun party again. Right. Um, actually, maybe they should just go with Amiibo Festival too and <laughs> make a make make it good this time. Yeah. <laughs> make it really fun. Um, and then my last one, of course, I think they're going to announce Animal Crossing. I don't think they're going to give us a date outside of 2019. Hmm. So I do think this is going to come 2019. Um, I'd like it to be early, but I am I think it's going to be a late 2019 game. Hmm. Um, but I think we're going to get a trailer. And I think the trailer is going to be beautiful and it's going to make me cry. And I'm going <laughs> to watch it 20 times a day for the, re- for the rest of my days. Ah. Uh. Yep. Yes. <laughs> so, those are my predictions. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, I mean the ice climbers one uh, one's the real crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the if I could just have one thing, though, you know it's gonna be Animal Crossing. Right. right. <laughs> uh, that's really all I want to see at this point. Yeah, that's what we're going in there for, you know, Smash, everything else. Yeah, it's it's, it's filler, but we're, yeah. we're going I, in for Animal Crossing. Yeah. I also want to make a note that I wouldn't usually do a Retro Studios uh, thing because I feel, for me, there are a few things that you could say where I'm going to completely think your prediction is negated. <laughs> One is Mother 3. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Oh, man. 
I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's been a long time. And at this point, I don't know if it'll ever come. Right, right. Yeah. So if anybody mentions Mother 3 in their predictions, I'm like, no, <laughs> this prediction is all false. Right. The second thing, and I'm sad to say this one's become one, but Pikmin 4. Oh, okay. Um, now that now when people say Pikmin Four, I'm like, okay, yeah, this has been a rumor forever. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna believe it till I right, see it, right? Kind of thing, you know. Right. Um, I do love Pikmin a lot. I think those games are really fun. They're really cool. But if you predict it, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> and then the last thing is actually Retro Studios because people have been waiting for so long. I'm just like, eh, whatever. They'll say it when they say it, you know. Right. We know they're working on something. Um, yeah. But to predict that they're going to announce it finally. Um, yeah. I think that's why I went crazy with it. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I, I don't know if this is going to happen. Let's just say they're working on Ice Climbers. <laughs> you you had a valid reason. I mean, it's a retro game. They're definitely working on something. It's, it's so mysterious if you think about it. So, you know, it's definitely who knows when, like you said, but it's something to look forward to. Yep. So it, it's going to be fun. And then, of course, like all of this could be pretty different within the next month. I know as as E3 gets closer, I'm sure Nintendo will have more announcements. I know they're going to have another presentation on specifically like the online service that we're getting right. at the end of the year. Right. Um, so I'm excited to see what that is and what we're going to get out of that. Right. Um, so we'll definitely these are very early predictions but i'm sure we'll, we're gonna have to, we're gonna update them between right. now and e3 so hopefully we'll have that in a later episode right and then we'll see which ones we got right yeah and everything that we got wrong but there's only <laughs> one thing that matters yes to both of us <laughs> and that's animal crossing <laughs> oh i thought you made a vivo festival too but yeah animal crossing is fine oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yep. All right, everybody, that's our show. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to be part of the conversation on all things Animal Crossing, join the Discord. I have a link in the description of this podcast. It's totally free to join. You don't have to be a Patreon patron. And if you do join, you can get Sergio and my friend codes on Pocket Camp. So join. It's super fun. Um, we're always talking about Animal Crossing stuff. Um, but if you do want to become a patron, visit patreon.com slash Chewy Plays Nintendo for just a dollar. You can support the show and get tons of cool things like a shout out at the beginning of the episode saying the episode was brought by you. Um, you can also get my friend codes on 3DS, Wii U, and Switch. And you can have your thoughts shared on the podcast, which we should do again sometime pretty soon. Um, also, you can get some art from Sergio, which is awesome. And we try our best to really make it worth it because we appreciate your support. And yeah, we just want you to know that we care. Yeah. Um, and if you are listening on YouTube, be sure to comment whether or not you think Animal Crossing is going to be announced at E3 or any of your other E3 predictions. Um, other than that, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. And finally, please leave a review for the show wherever you are listening. It helps us get some visibility, get more people to listen, and grow our community of Animal Crossing fans. And once again, thank you all for listening, and we hope that you have a great week. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>